Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hello well, everybody, it's Poodle back with another CFB25 video. In today's video, I'm going to go over the secret behind player development post-patch. So guys, before we get to the video, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 30k. And as I said in a few other videos, you guys have been killing with the like button. Can we get 500 likes in this video? Every like is a free way to support the channel. It takes you a second. If you guys could so kindly like right this second, that'd be great. It helps out the channel a lot. So I always appreciate when you guys do it. And you guys did kill it last week. And if you haven't already, make sure to sign up for Underdog. We just got through our first week of CFB and NFL. We had a bunch of big hits. Go check out the community tab on my channel. I post all my picks there. Hit me up on Twitter. And if you guys do sign up, let me know over on Twitter. I do appreciate working with you guys and creating some picks with you guys. So let me know if you do. And it also helps out the channel. So my link will be down below in the description and in the comments down below so let's get into this how did the patch impact player development i kind of had a video going over this a while back on how this could end up working and ironically the patch made it even more prominent than before so let's come over to players and kind of briefly go through how player development works in this game and then let me know how let me show you guys how it got impacted post patch so if you come look at a guy, let's just go to Jelani Watkins, my favorite guy, as you guys know to use. So when looking at a player, there's a few things to consider here. First and foremost are the stat caps, which I have a video going over, so make sure to check that out if you haven't. Basically, the stat caps are those gray squares with the line through them. That's basically the limit square player can grow with any different archetype, right? Or any different box square, whatever you want to call it. Then comes in the, the dev trait, which you can see in the bottom left corner, which is star, impact, normal, elite, right? In no specific order there. Now, this is what's important to keep in mind free patch ratings could not be changed abilities could not be changed so when trying to develop a player you had to focus on getting abilities upgraded and your ratings upgraded then there's a few caveats to this and there's a few little variables right first and foremost there's end of season development which is coaching package specific and it's very random there's xp that you can accrue from playing based on their dev trait there's also just players getting those upgrades at the end of the year, right? Like random awards and other things that you could win, so on and so forth. So all those things had to come together to make your player. Now, a lot of people have commented, you know, now you can change their overall. You can change their rating. So this does change things, right? So I want to go through this. So keep in mind that when editing players, it can only be done with non-NIL players and recruits. So basically any player on your current team, like any of these players cannot be touched. I mean, we can go all the way down, just kind of showcase this here, but basically none of these players can be touched so this kind of only applies to after year one for the most part so keep that in mind that this can't be done basically with any year one player but going forward after that first year when you start to get players in you start to get them this will be opened up for you to actually edit these players under edit players so this does change things because now people are commenting you know what's the point of xp what's the point of player development if you can just go ahead and edit them now i have two things to say that first off it's your own dynasty in madden you can do it in almost any game 2k fifa you can always edit ratings this isn't anything new being able to cheese and cheat your players and build them isn't anything new so it's not i know it's kind of like the fun fact of like you can't control it at all so there's no temptation but that's the way you want to play your dynasty but let's just say this some people say you know development's broken it's too hard i want to be able to do this. so if you want to be able to just get your ratings up that's fine Go ahead and i could see a world where you have a five-star quarterback with bad stat caps and you're like screw it i'm just gonna build them up anyways and put them up because i want to be have fun with this quarterback that's fine but now here's the key with recruiting and development here's where the new development side of this comes is that when trying to develop a player and you go to them this is going to be one of the biggest things that you want to be focusing on and that's going to be the abilities a player comes with and the reason being is that abilities can't be edited as it stands abilities are the only thing that cannot be really changed in this game you could edit the player's name, you could edit their weight, their height, their ratings, abilities can't be touched. So why is this important, right? Let's go add some quarterbacks to the board. This is one of the only uncontrollable variables and their abilities are so important. I think they were toned down in CFB a little bit, but enough games have been played by me to know that abilities still, they still matter. They still matter, they're still important. And there's some instances where abilities are especially powerful. And let's just say with the quarterback position, this is one that I've noticed it being very, very useful at. So when you go to quarterback and we start scouting these guys, right? You're going to see on the right hand bar, they get abilities right above my face cam. So this guy's off platform, extender, option king, magician, a good mix of gold and silvers. Now like field general, a really good one. Headstrong, being able to make hot routes on the road is so important, especially in an online league. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, that doesn't matter. I can make the guy 99 overall. Honestly, a 99 overall player without some of these abilities are going to struggle. A 99 overall player that doesn't have headstrong on bronze or better is still going to struggle to make hot routes still going to struggle on the road these abilities are so important now how do abilities get upgraded they get upgraded with xp so when you accrue skill points they can manually upgrade themselves 
Now, while that is useful, you can't control the upgrades and you can't control which ability they upgrade and when they do it. So I've seen plenty of recruits. For instance, I have a quarterback in my online league. He starts with headstrong on bronze, very useful. He's had a great Heisman type season, hasn't upgraded it. If you could go the whole four years and your player can never upgrade their abilities. I have a guy who's 99 overall running back and he has all the best running back abilities that you could potentially get. And he's stuck on bronze and silver because he's using them to upgrade to 99 overall and not his abilities. So understand that if you want your abilities upgraded, you're going to have to hope and, and pray when the ratings are controllable. So what I'm trying to say here is when recruiting or when building a player, getting a good baseline with abilities is kind of king. So for instance, this quarterback right here, if I remove the webcam for a second, you guys can see he has off platform platinum. That's a great, great ability. And he starts with it. He has option king. He has magician. He has field general, headstrong. This is the kind of quarterback that, okay, he's a red gem or sorry, bust. I know you guys do not like me calling him red gems. He is a bust player, but he has such great, such start, good starting point for abilities that you can just manually upgrade him if you want by his ratings. But these abilities can't be touched. So you want to make sure you get guys to start with platinum or get guys that at least have a good baseline. Like this guy is off platform, option king, mobile resistance, magician, the natural. Like those are things you want to be focusing on. And even more so with mentals. Mentals can't even be upgraded. Whatever they come with mentals is what they have. So you want to be making sure you're recruiting or play, using players that have great mentals. Like right here, field general, fan favorite, headstrong, magician, off platform, extender, option king. He's a gem. And let's say he never upgrades. You can just go ahead and make him 99 overall. That's another great thing you could do there. So just keep that in mind when doing this that that's a great way to really develop a better platform for your players because it's even more important now before you needed ratings and abilities to upgrade so you kind of had to play both sides and kind of just let you can let the game flow if they upgrade their abilities that's great if they upgrade their ratings that's fine but if you can now change ratings abilities are now officially the only variable that you cannot change so definitely make sure you're putting a heavy emphasis on abilities when trying to develop players and seeing where they stand and that oh, that also goes for not just recruiting if you look at your roster right now and you have some players already recruited right now i'm not talking about a recruiting cycle but you have some players from their freshman class that are now juniors that are ready to start if you see a quarterback with a bunch of great abilities and one without just know that junior is probably dead in abilities it's going to be too late at that point but the other guy could just have his ratings changed or upgraded if you want to choose that route but overall abilities are basically king in the development game now because that's a variable you can't control and i feel like a lot of people overlook abilities especially some of the, a lot of the cfb community and i think it makes sense because the Madden community has had abilities for five plus years now. We're used to it. We know they're king. CFB community, I feel like it's a nice mix of like dynasty franchise type players and guys that just got the game for the first time, haven't really played much Madden, or when they did, they played franchise. It's got guys that probably don't abide by the arcade -y ability side of the game and they focus more on old school ratings. So understand that these abilities are so important and you got to be keying on them now going forward, making sure abilities are first and foremost on your mind when you are trying to build players especially if you want to opt to change the ratings because I, I get it people said adding ratings basically made it obsolete to care about the debt like why wait for the off-season upgrade i'll just manually do their off-season upgrade if they don't get one so with that being said make sure you're focusing on abilities and doing this but guys it is better for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you need the channel hit that subscribe button if you made it this far as always a like is greatly appreciated and if you haven't already signed up for underdog the season is already underway we're one weekend i'm posting my picks if you want to copy or fade me whatever you whatever you want to do get in on the fun let me know on twitter if you do sign up my code will be down below in the description in the comments thanks so much for watching i'm out peace